Yeah. So this really strange thing happened when I scheduled my knee replacement surgery. I knew I would be out of commission for a while because bed rest is part of the recovery and it can take like three months to recover. It's really hard to work at a desk for a long time after you've had your knee replaced because you really aren't supposed to sit for too long. You have to stand and then sit and then stand and sit. So I knew that working at my normal desk was going to just like totally suck. My main office, which I'm in right now, is on the third floor of my house and there was no way I was going to get up three flights of stairs after knee surgery. So I had to set up a temporary office on my first floor somewhere. I decided on this like little corner of my living room to be out of the way, but somehow I've still taken over the whole living room. But what was I going to work at? A cheap folding table? I had an older table from Ikea, but it was wobbly and kind of garbage and I didn't really want to work at that. So Nick from the standing desk company FlexiSpot just reached out to me out of nowhere and offered me one of their E5 powered standing desks for review. Full disclosure, I get to keep the desk. In fact, there's really no way that I'm going to give this desk back to them. That's how much I like it. I only work with companies that ask me to give my honest opinion on their products, good or bad, which they did. They asked me to tell people exactly what I thought about the desk. I'm also now doing affiliate links for the desk. Those will be below, but I only do affiliate links for products that I believe in. So you can kind of see where this review is going, right? I don't really like the term standing desk because a lot of things fall into that category. You've got desks that are just tall desks. That's really a standing desk. What this really is is an adjustable desk, which means it can go from sitting to standing really easily. And those have two categories too. You've got the manual mechanical ones that you have to wind to make the desk go up. And then you have the powered ones that go up at the push of a button. So the FlexiSpot E5 is really a modern powered standing desk. And those usually come in ranges from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars. I've been looking at one from Herman Miller that's about $800, although you can find it less on Amazon. But spending a thousand dollars on basically legs and a table just really upset me. The FlexiSpot E5 that I'm reviewing, even with a nice surface, is only a couple hundred dollars, and that's definitely in my price range. The company's budget-minded E2 has a list price of under $300, and I'd seen some good reviews of that. The E5 is their step-up desk and has a list price of $379 for the legs, plus whatever surface you pick. Even better though, FlexiSpot runs regular flash sales and monthly sales on their desks, and while recording this video, the E5 was on sale for $160 off the list price, which makes it two sixty dollars instead of the $379. Of course, that means that I recommend waiting for the sales to get their desks, because the price savings mean you can splurge on a much nicer top for the desk if you want. The E5 has three programs programmable buttons for different programmed heights, but it also has a raise and a lower button so you can adjust it as much as you want. There's an anti-collision feature to help keep from crushing things if the desk is lowered into something, and the arms are rated to about 287 pounds. As you can see, it can easily lift a 90-pound human plus my computer gear, and while I didn't record it, I did test it by going up and down the desk a couple of times. The desks come as frame only, which I guess is good if you do woodworking, and there are lots of desk surfaces. There's a range of affordable chipboard tops, there's bamboo, which is what I got, fiberboard, solid wood materials, and the new Ergo and gaming texture. The Ergo surface has a soft texture, which I think would be weird feeling, but I kind of get it. But the gaming surface is an awesome idea. It's got a textured surface with reflective dots that help improve your mousing. Desktop come in a bunch of sizes, 48 by 24, 55 by 28, there's even a 60 by 30, a 72 by 30, and a massive 78 by 30, and there's some curved versions of those as well. I got the 55 by 28 inch desk, which fits perfectly in the corner of my temporary space in the living room, but I'm the kind of person who suffers from clutter syndrome, so I wish I'd gotten the 60 by 30 desk, but I'll probably put the monitor up on arms. My monitor is really wide, the feet take up a ton of surface space, and so that'll give me some space back. The company also makes accessories like drawers and cable organizers, which they sent as well. More of that in a bit, though. The desk arrived just after my surgery and it sat unpacked in a box until I could have a friend come and help me set it up. The frame and top shipped separately, the frame was way too heavy for me to move, but the desktop, since it was bamboo, wasn't that heavy and I could bring it inside myself. Unpacking and setup took about an hour, mostly because my friend Dean and I didn't follow the directions because we were concerned about the part where we would have to flip it upside down. I had another friend who was supposed to be helping me with the moving, he couldn't come at the last minute. There was no way I was flipping an entire desk upside down, even with the help of my friend Dean. That's just the kind of thing that would have snapped my knee. In half. So Dean built the legs first and then we slid the desk into position and then we put the desk top on top of it and then screwed it into place from underneath it. Turns out that FlexiSpot makes two models of desks like themselves. I wish that I'd known this before I recorded this video because they look so much more comfortable than the crap that I've been using and the height can be raised and lowered without probably falling off of it like my existing one. I reached out to Nick at FlexiSpot. He's going to send me one of those next month so I'll have a video about that as well. The desk also has a timer that I have never used and probably never will that will remind you when you should go from sitting to standing. The nice thing about knee surgery is that you know when it's time to go from sitting and standing because you simply can't sit anymore. That's happening to me right now. Give me a second. A few moments later. All right, I'm back. I haven't installed the cable organizer yet, but I did screw a few power strips into the underside of the desk, which is super convenient because they're at the back of the desk and I can just put the cables around the back side. 
A really cool thing about a motorized standing desk is that when you want to plug in cables or move something under your desk, you just raise the desk up as high as you can. You don't have to crawl around under your desk like you're doing a lockdown drill. So the desk goes up, the desk goes down as advertised. There's not a lot of negatives to talk about with the Flexus Spot E5 standing desk. The company says the desk doesn't wobble, which is kind of true, but it absolutely does wobble just like any other desk. The other thing I found strange is the drawer. Flexus Spot says that they're specifically engineered in order to fit properly with the parts of the frame underneath the desk. And what that is not true. It would be good for a wider desk, but with the size I have, the drawer would have ended up extending under the keyboard area and my knees would hit the drawer. Their support told me that what I should do is raise the desk up so that my knees don't hit it, but if I did raise the desk up then my arms would still want to be at a comfortable angle unless I want to type like this like I'm on a Harley. So I'd still have to raise my chair up, which would mean that my knees would bang back into the table. Since the E5 is being used as my personal desk, I use this more than anything else I've ever reviewed, and I'm planning to buy a larger one for when I've recovered enough to come back up here into the office full time. I'll probably move the smaller desk to this main recording desk and then have a bigger curved surface one in the corner. The links to the desk in the description below. I get an affiliate commission off of any sales, which is a win-win. You get a desk that works and I get to keep eating. I did a survey about standing desks on my channel and about 50% of people said that they actually had one, and then another 20 to 30% said that they were thinking about purchasing one. So do you use a standing desk? Do you find it useful or do you just leave it in the sitting position and forget to stand up with it? Are you in the market for one? Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see more of my honest reviews, you can check them out up here and please hit the subscribe button, which you can do here and is just easier to do down there where it says subscribe. As always for Dave Tries This, I'm David Schloss. Thank you so much for giving this a try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop recording now.